What is up? Everyone, it's Moritz here from Section Store once again. Today, we're going to be having a look at this bubble navigation we are offering in our store. It's a super easy way to simply link to your collections in your store. And it kind of gives it this little Instagram kind of look, which customers are going to love for sure. And I'm going to show you how you can make it look like this. So it's fully customizable. I'm going to implement it into a store I'm owning with a bunch of friends. It's this surfboard brand right here. And we're going to link it to a bunch of different collections. And let's say we just get straight to work. If you haven't done so already, you have to download the app itself first. You can find it in the Shopify app store. It's called Section Store. It's a Shopify component library for highly designed Shopify components, which are fully customizable. And the app itself doesn't come with a reoccurring subscription fee or anything. That means the app itself is completely free. Alrighty, sweet. To find the app, we head back to the Shopify admin area and underneath apps, you have to look for section store. And then we want to click on explore sections to find the actual section itself. Simply going to type in uh, exactly the circle menu. It's this one right here. I'm already owning this section, but like I said already, the app itself is completely free, but our premium sections like this one come with a one-time charge of $9 only means that if you bought it once, you're gonna own it forever. So after you've done so successfully, we're gonna head back to the home area of the app. Scroll down a little bit. Always depends how many sections you're already owning, but this is basically a little collection of all the ones you already bought. And look for the circle menu right here and click on Don Live Theme to install the whole thing to your actual theme library you're using. After that, you had to online store, and from here on, you want to click on customize, so you can actually customize the whole app. And here, you have the one you saw already in the beginning of the video, so we're going to make our way to there, and simply hide it, so I can show you how you can do it from scratch. Scroll all the way down, type in menu, circle menu. And we want to slide it all the way where we had the other one. So we're going to put it here. That's how it's going to look in default. Save it up real quick. So you can see how it's actually looking. Perfect. Except that. And then we want to fill it with some content, of course. Let's put in one, just for the example. So we're going to put in this photo right here. And it's going to link to our merch collection and here we want to put in merchandise as well so it's linked to that one specifically i'm just gonna fill the whole thing with content and it should look like this after that like the one i showed you already and here i'm gonna show you how i customize the whole thing so you just have to fill all the things with content and then click on the circle menu itself and here you have a bunch of options how you can make it look like you want it and also fit the vibe of your brand. First thing you can do is hide it either on mobile or desktop. So here we have the desktop view. We can simply hide it. And if we switch to mobile, we're still going to see it. And it's going to have this classic Instagram scroll kind of story effect. You probably know already. And we're going to switch back to desktop. Unhide it so we can see it again. We can change the size of the icons see right here and also on mobile they're changeable the text size is changeable as well but I think it looks a bit sleeker if we keep it at like say 14 pegs and the color is changeable as well of the text but I think white gives the best contrast right here the thickness of the border is something we can change maybe we pump it up a little bit color is also something we can change here maybe put it to orange because that's the second color next to purple we're using in that store and the section background color is changeable as well. Let's just give it like a rough example. We could put it to that as well. But I think the dark one gives a quite good contrast to all the things. And we can change the padding of the whole thing too. But I was quite happy uh, how it looked like. Also, another thing we can do is making the images like that. But I think it looks nicer if they're round to give it like that classic Instagram kind of feel. Perfect. That looks good already. Let's save it all up. Another thing you could technically do as well is linking it to an actual Instagram account and just put in all the photos you posted last. 
and then you can uh, simply click on there as well and on link you could just paste it in as well and you would be good to go so you would link it to a page and that will be the Instagram page righty sweet let's have a look at it and we should be good to go perfect let's see if the links are actually working let's click on pads for example sweet that is perfectly working and we could simply head back to it and that's pretty much it i hope you guys found that useful and if you did always feel free to leave a like and a follow definitely helps us to keep up that motivation to build more sections like this and with that being said have a good one guys and peace out